Hello everyone and today we are going to discuss about system design fundamentals. There have been several advances in the large scale web application during the previous two decades. These developments have reshaped how we think about software development. All of the programs, services we use on our daily basis such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are scalable systems. So, what is system design? The process of defining the architecture, interfaces and data for a system that meet certain requirement is known as system design. Through cohesive and efficient system, system design satisfies the needs of your business and organization. The ability of an application to handle and endure greater workload without sacrificing the latency is referred to as scalability. If we talk about horizontal scaling, it is also known as scaling out, which refers to the addition of new hardware to the existing hardware resource pool. It boosts the overall computational power of the system. If we talk about vertical scaling, which is often known as scaling up, refers to as adding more power to your server. It boosts the processing power of the hardware that runs the application. The next service which we are going to discuss is microservices. Microservices, which is also known as microservice architecture, is an architectural approach that uses loosely connected services to organize an application. Next is proxy server. If we talk about proxy server, which is also known as forward proxy, it serves as a conduit between a user and the internet. It disconnects the user from the website you are know, visiting. Next theorem we are going to discuss is CAP theorem. In the realm of system design, CAP theorem is a fundamental theorem. According to this, the definition, a distributed system can only provide two or three of its attributes at the same time. Time, consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Next, we are going to discuss about redundancy and replication. Redundancy is a process of duplicating important system components in order to improve system reliability or overall performance. It is typically the form of backup or failsafe. If we talk about replication, it is a practice of transferring information to ensure consistency among redundant resources, which is also known as replication. To improve reliability, fault tolerance, or accessibility, you can replicate a software or a hardware components. And the final principle of system design we are going to discuss today is RAID. RAID or Redundancy Array of Chief Disk is a technology of combining numerous drives to create a quicker, larger, and a more dependable disk system. A RAID seems to be a disk from the outside. Internally, it's a complicated instrument with numerous drives, RAMs, and one of the more processors to manage the system.